Hello my geek guys and gals, Mask Geek here. I thought I'd do a little vlog update for you. Uh, you might hear a few bangs and clatters in the background. I've got my dog with me, so I'm keeping this clean, so don't worry about that. I'm going to be keeping this short as well. I thought I'd just do this vlog because I got a rather lovely email from YouTube this morning, which has really put me down in the crapper. And essentially it's basically saying that removing all monetization from my channel because I don't re reach the threshold of 4,000 hours of watch time within the past 12 months and have a thousand subscribers. Now the thing is, checking my analytics, let me just load this up right now because I'm, I'm just doing this live myself. Um, I'm not even bothered going to edit any part um, out of this. Uh, so I'm not even putting um, my webcam in on this one because I'm just so thrilled with what they've done. And not surprising as well, it's uh, currently twen uh, trending. It's trending at number three on Twitter as well. So, hey, hey, well done, um, YouTube. Absolutely fantastic. But anyway, going on to my analytics page, when I look at my uh, watch time, in the last 28 days, I've got 2,285 minutes worth of views. Now, if I go to the past year 365 I've got 37,475 uh, what's that minutes of views so if I punch that into minutes to hours do this on the old calculator here uh, where's it gone again so 37,475 475 so, that comes to 624 total hours time. So I don't meet that, and I don't meet the 1,000 subscriber results, uh, um, total subscribers either. So it's absolutely, utterly fantastic. So, bravo YouTube. Thank you for strangling hundreds of thousands of small channels that can't make it. So now, we're not going to be able to grow. We're not going to be able to make any money. We won't be able to make any money to make things better to, to be able to get that extra exposure. So it's just going to be a thousand, thousands worth of channels. It's just going to end up dying. Now, I'm not going to end, um, shut down the channel myself, no. All the videos that I've recorded, they're still going to be up there. But I just now feel that YouTube's dead and buried. There's nothing that you can do on, on there anymore. If you've got any aspirations about starting up on YouTube, just forget it, because they're not going to care about you. The in my personal opinion, a better imp implementation of that rule, if they wanted to go ahead with it, is only apply it for brand new channels that's starting up. Not put it in for every single bloody channel that's out there on the platform. As far as I'm concerned, if you've got enough analytical data to show that you've been doing okay for the last year and you've not breached a single community guideline of YouTube to have your account suspended in any way, shape or form, this rule should not apply to you. But does YouTube care? No, it doesn't. But beyond all that, just as I say, I'm being massive strikes off. What I'm going to be deciding to do for the channel itself is I'm going to do my very best to finish off the series that are currently going through right now, like Silent Hill, Al um, uh what's the other one, Amnesia, Streets of London, um, try and finish off those series. Um, with Prey 2017, I probably think that I might not finish that one because A... It, they're, they're how long videos. They take a freaking forever to edit and render and put together anyway. But given this, uh, where I am in the game right now and how frustratingly difficult it has gotten already, I'm losing all faith in probably... Uh, I'm, I'm losing all aspirations, it will be a better word, in completing that because I'm just not having as much fun as I did in the game when I first started it. And now this bombshell hit. So I just really don't feel about it's worth completing that one. Rise of the Tomb Raider, yeah, okay, that's those are hour-long videos as well. But that is a very, very fun game, and I really do love that. So I might still end up finishing that one. Then what will happen with the channel once I've finished with the series that are still that are currently ongoing? Well, 
I'm thinking about moving the channel to being online streams only. No, that doesn't mean I'm going to be doing live streams on YouTube because screw YouTube in all its infinite glory. No, what I'm intending to do is I'm going to continue doing the live streams over on Twitch and I'll just use my YouTube channel as an archive of those live streams. Now, as I say, I'm not going to be deleting any videos that have already been recorded and are still up on the channel now. No, those are going to stay there. Twitch doesn't have a permanent archive solution. Any live streams that you do on there, at the time of recording this video, they'll only keep the archive, I think, for about 14 days, if that. So I'm just going to keep my YouTube channel as a more permanent archive, so you can watch those live streams whenever you like. Um, keep in mind that, obviously, with Twitch, the monetization options are going to be a lot more restrictive anyway, and I won't be able to play the games that I've been wanting to play for YouTube either, because there's a lot of nudity, a lot of sexual content, a lot of things like that, which Twitch just does not allow, and you can't edit videos on the fly either, so... I just feel that all this money that I've bought, that, that I've used to buy the new PC, new software, new monitors, new everything to get the best equipment I can for the channel within the budget range that I've got, has just been a complete and utter waste. So, unless YouTube rescinds that rule in its entirety, I really do feel that the, the channel is just going to be an archive of my live streams here and forth for the... For the no, for the foreseeable future, if I can say it right. Now, if YouTube comes to me personally and say, you know what, you're a gaming channel, so we're going to exempt you, I'm not going to accept it, because it's still taking a big dump on all the other smaller YouTube channels out there, and I do feel it's a poorly implemented rule. It should not have been implemented at all. There wasn't even any warning. There wasn't, like, any email coming out prior to say thing, um, by them by saying oh, we're thinking of implementing this, um, it's a heads up, or we're thinking of implementing it in 30 days. No, they just dropped the email saying, bam, we're going to remove all your monetization within 30 days because you don't make us enough money. So, yeah, if they exempt me, I'm not going to accept it. So with that, my geeky guys and gals, if you've got any thoughts and comments... I would really love to hear what you have to feel about this, so put them in the comment section down below. You can still reach me out on Twitter. I'll be on there um, chatting away as best as I can. <coughs> as long as I don't cough and choke all over the place. But, yeah. I'm going to be going on to live streaming as a mainstream thing now. I'll finish off the series as best as I can and see how things go from there. So, thank you so much for at least listening to me because um, I say no way of covering anything. Thank you for listening to me on this um, video vlog. I'll see you in the next video whenever that will be. So bye-bye for now.